This is what Earth's orbit looks like right now, and we're adding more to it every single week. Amazon just launched 27 more satellites for Project Kuiper, which is their version of SpaceX's Starlink. But launches like this also bring us closer to something scientists worry about, the Kessler syndrome, which is the idea that if two satellites crashed, they'd break into thousands of pieces, flying around at 17,000 miles per hour. Those pieces could hit other satellites, causing even more explosions and even more debris, basically causing a chain reaction that could trap us on Earth for hundreds of years. Now here's the thing, it's really unlikely, but the chance is never zero, and I'll get to why in a minute. You see, the reason it's pretty unlikely is for a couple of reasons. First, most of the satellites we're launching, like Kuiper and Starlink, are in low Earth orbit, which is low enough that if something does break apart, Earth's atmosphere will just pull that down and burn it up on re-entry. Another reason is that we're tracking everything. There are companies that can literally spot objects as small as a softball up there. And lastly, there are attempts to regulate it. For instance, the FCC is requiring companies to deorbit their satellites within five years of mission end. Now, the reason it's not zero is because space is still kind of a free-for-all. There's no global agency in charge, and when you bring geopolitics into it, things get messy. And we've tried treaties, like the Outer Space Treaty of 1967, which says no country can claim land on the moon or own parts of space. But not everyone's playing by the same rule book. China backed out of the treaty in the 80s, and their space program has been on a rocket ship of acceleration for the last 20 years, basically passing up NASA at this point. Then there's Russia, who's trying to put nuclear warheads in space, so there's that. And private companies aren't really bound to government treaties. Sure, they have strong incentives to keep orbit clean. I mean, they do have billions and maybe trillions of dollars of hardware up there, but let's be honest, big industries don't exactly have the best environmental record. The oil industry said it would protect the oceans too, and we've seen how that went. So for right now, it's okay that we're launching thousands of satellites a year. And no, the Kessler syndrome isn't something to panic about, but it's not zero. 